this is a very important video in the course because this really sets up and gives a foundation for why we do what we do with algorithm development. Uh, the concept of growth of functions shows how important it is that our algorithms are efficient because we're going to see here in a minute uh, how fast the numbers grow when we utilize inefficient algorithms. And so if you don't understand any of the things we're talking about here, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you don't have to have a math degree in order to go through this course, but it is really important to at least understand the high-level concepts that this video teaches. So uh, what we're going to review is something called either big O complexity or growth of functions, and it's going to show how different functions can affect numbers and how that growth can happen very rapidly. Um, to, and the way we're going to do the breakdown is to first look at the different type of functions that there are. So I'm going to go from smallest to greatest and the smallest or most efficient is something called order of one. The one and I'm, these are all going to be in order so the next one is going to be log base 2 of n and we typically write that just as log n. Next one is n followed by n log base 2 of n followed by n squared and you could technically do things such as n cubed or n to the fourth after that but we're not going to do that we're going to skip straight ahead and do 2 to the n and you'll see why here in a minute and then the last one is n factorial and if you do not know what factorials are, just please refer to the video that I did on factorials. Just uh, I did it because not everyone is aware of how those work, but it is important because they grow by far the fastest, and there's something you want to avoid at all costs uh, when uh, developing algorithms. So, um, to analyze these, the easiest way is just to insert a number in for n. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that n is equal to 10. So uh, no reason, special reason why I picked that number except for the fact it's very easy to multiply <laughs> and it's easy to use uh, exponents with. So uh, the very first one, uh, order of 1, this one should be easy. This one just equals 1. And I'll put the one up top so that everybody knows what that one is and we can track it and we're going to put on a chart here in a second. The next one, log n, which would actually equal to, in this case, when we do our substitution, log 10, this one works out to be 3.32. If you do not know the properties of logarithms, just please refer to my video on uh, logs. Uh, it's actually pretty basic. Um, some people try to make it more complicated than it is, but the basic concepts are pretty easy to get. Uh, okay, the next one, we already said n equals 10, so I'm just going to put that right up top. And so our next one is going to be 10 log base 2 of 10. And what that one equals out to be is 33.2. Two. So I'll put that up top. You can already see that these numbers are starting to grow and they haven't even gotten started compared to how much they will in a second here. Uh, so the next one is going to be 10 squared. Hopefully everyone here knows that is 800. And the next one is going to be 2 to the n, which is 2 to the 10th, which equals 1,024. And just in case you're wondering, I'm not a math savant. I have these um, multiplication products uh, written down on the side. So 
Uh, I'm not doing these in my head, especially this last one. Okay, last one. 10 factorial. What does 10 factorial equal? Well, if you work it out, it works out to be 3,628,000. And right up top here, we're just going to sum it up to 3 million. Okay, so as you can see, the growth of functions happens very rapidly. We go all the way from 1 right here all the way to the same number equaling well over 3 million, almost 4 million really. Uh, when we get to n factorial. So if you're thinking of having an algorithm that seems to work, but it happens to be something that utilize, uh, that has a factorial running time, you're never going to be able to run it because there is no computers on in this planet uh, fast enough of doing that if you have any kind of uh, sizable n. So... Um, this is just something to keep in mind. Now to see this, I, it also really helps me to really plot it on a graph. So I'm going to just create a really little graph right here. And we're gonna give uh, different colors to each one. So for our order of one, this is gonna be on the very bottom and it grows something like that. So this one is our order of one. Okay, next one is going to be in blue, and this one is going to be our log base two of n, and it grows something along those lines right there. It's constant, it's constantly increasing, however, it's really nothing that's too crazy so and all of these actually are order of I just did it in front of the one but all of these are order of so order of login uh, next one we're starting to increase a little bit more and so for this next one we're looking at our order of n and this one is going to be about right here and I'm just showing these in order. This is not drawn to scale. If this was drawn to scale, our log n would actually be much, much closer to our order of one. Uh, but if I did that, it'd be hard to write. So just, just know this is not drawn to scale. I'm just showing because it kind of helps to see exactly how this is broken down. Uh, okay, after our order of n, we have our order of n log n, which is going to be somewhere more in this range. You can see it's still palatable, but it's definitely in, starting to increase faster. Now we will get into things that look a little bit uglier. And now we're going to go into the n squared. n squared is going to look something like this. And next, we're going to go into the 2 to the n. And you can see each one of these numbers, or these points on the graph, these actually correspond very closely to the numbers up top. The rate of growth is very similar. And so for our very last one, we're going to go with n factorial, which goes just something like this. It's as straight up as you can possibly get, so n factorial. And there you go. You have your growth of functions. You can see the order. And more important than understanding this or you know being able to explain it or anything like that unless you're taking this for a college class or something then you do need to know it uh, however the most important part about this for practical development is just understanding the importance and having kind of a visual representation of uh, 
of efficiencies of algorithms. So you know that if you've designed an algorithm that used to be n squared, so it used to be somewhere on this side of the world with this kind of performance, and you're able to take it and make it a n log n kind of algorithm, you've just done an incredible job and you've been able to make your program much more efficient, much more scalable, and much more of an enterprise type product. So um, good job if you went through this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions or any if there's anything I can do to clarify uh, growth of functions. Just please let me know.